There are many of you who are struggling with things in your life because you haven't taken time to love yourself. You must first love yourself before anybody else can love you. Because when you understand how important you are and how valuable you are, you will not settle for less than the best that you know that you deserve. There are many of you who are unable to love yourself and you want somebody else to love you the way you really want to be loved. But the truth is, it all starts with you. It all starts with you being you and loving you. I know for a fact that the moment I started to love myself, the moment I started to take care of myself, the moment that I started putting myself in a position where I value me, that's when my life started to change from a college dropout, from homelessness. And now I can tell you this, that whatever you dream of will surely come to pass. The question you have to ask yourself, how much do you value yourself? How much do you be what you say you were going to be? Like, let me say this. Many of you are saying things that you want to be, but your character doesn't match the thing that you want to be. I say it again. Many of you are saying things that you want to be, but your character doesn't match what you say you want to be. You have to be willing to go through the process to understand your value and your self-worth, to understand how important you are, to understand who you will become is on based on who you are today. So the question is, what are you willing to do right now? What are you willing to be you and love you? So I know there are many of you who want to just take the elevator. Like you want to really get to the mountaintop, but you don't want to take the stairs. Like you don't want to take the steps. There are many of you who don't want to look yourself in the mirror and start taking the, the things out of your eye first before you start taking it out of other people's eye. You need to start looking yourself in the mirror and realize that you are important and you are valuable and you are powerful beyond measure, but you must stop looking at other people and start looking at yourself. There are many of you who spend time looking at your friends, your family members, and not focusing on you. You have so much to say about everybody else, but you have nothing to say about you. The question is, what do you want to do in order for you to have the life that you want. That's simple. Like you got to think about what are you willing to do? And some of you are not willing to change anything in your life so you can have the life that you want. And that's why you are struggling. That's why you are going through pain. That's why you're going through hurt. That's why you are struggling with yourself because you can't look yourself in the mirror and say, look, it's about time I value me. It's about time that I, I, I will start looking at every second of my life and how I spend it. So listen to me. We all make bad decisions. It's what we do after the bad decision that defines who we are. You see, it's not about how much times you fall down or how much times you make the mistake. What's important is how you get up. And when, you're, when you say, I'm going to get up, I'm not going to stay there. Some of you don't know how to, to pick yourself up, and that's the problem. You see, the moment I understood that it's about me and not about anybody else, I became a published author. Like, the, the moment I start seeing that God blessed me with life, and it's about time that I start valuing the blessing that God has given me with every second I got, and start taking responsibility of every action, that's when my life starts to change. So I need you guys to understand this. Your boy, Dr. G, need you to get this in your mindset. That there are many of you who don't want to make the change or take full responsibility of your action. And that's why you can't get the reward. That's why you are stuck. That's why you are not moving from average to great. That's why you cannot <laughs> succeed. Many people want to succeed, but they don't want to go through the process. And the process is not about anybody else. It's about you and your character. It's about you and what you hold as your value system and your belief system. So today, I just want to put this in your spirit because there are many of you who, who think average and want to rub shoulders with great people. Like, you have to change your mindset in order for you to have the life that you truly require. 
So I just want to put this in all of you that, you know, have been put, buying my book, Be You, Love You. I'm, I'm excited about it because it's changing lives. People are getting impacted. I, I'm, 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 just, I'm just happy because, you know, I did not stay where people thought I was supposed to be. I made a decision that I was going to change my mindset. But most of all, I was going to put myself in a position where I value me first. I value me just like God values me, just like God wants me to be. And when I understood that I was a masterpiece created for greatness because I was a piece of the master, everything started to change. There are many of you who don't realize that you are given just a moment in this timeline to do something great, that you could do something that would outlast you, that you could leave behind. And that's why you've never really value yourself enough. We are, some of you think that you're going you're gonna to live here forever. Like, we didn't come to live here forever. We came to pass. Like, we came to clock in and clock out. We have an expiry date on us. And the question is, what will you do before that expiry date comes? It's that simple. It's not complicated. And until you start looking at yourself as if you are on borrowed time and every second you got to make it count, you will not be able to live your best life. You start throwing away your seconds. Like, 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 seriously, stop throwing away your seconds. The moment you stop throwing away your seconds is the moment that you see how great you are. The moment that you see how phenomenal you are. The moment that you see how, oh man, valuable you are. You have to stop waiting for other people to value you before you value yourself. And that's your biggest problem. That's one of your biggest problems. Because you're waiting for everybody to say, affirm you or value you or, or, or appreciate you. And it's about time that you value yourself and appreciate you. So listen, guys, your boy, Dr. G, Love Motivator. You know it's always knockout time when I show up. I wanted to give you this message. It was in my heart. It's about time that you be you and love you. It's about time that you understand that every step, every second of your life is not about mm, yesterday. It's about what you do right now. So listen to me very carefully. All men are created equal. It's about what we do in this season of our life that defines who we will become. Stop thinking about yesterday. Like, yeah, yesterday you messed up. Yesterday you made some mistake. Yesterday you didn't do enough. It's about time that you focus on today because you can't get yesterday back. It's that simple. It's not complicated. I need you today. Knockout time family. It's another Sunday. You know what time it is. It's always knockout time when I show up. I need you to value yourself that you can be all you can be in this season of your life and have all that you can have in this season of your life because you are special and you are powerful beyond measure. I love you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out of here.